David Shrill is going to be a lapper here. Cody Owenberg and J.R. Billings are moving. Oh. Wow, that was exciting. Full recovery. White flag, Cody. Bobby Owenberg out in front. He's got a lapped car ahead of him. This is the final lap. J.R. Billings has his eye on the prize. Look out! Holy smokes! J.R. Billings takes the win! Incredible! Number one here, he parks in the wrong spot. <laughs> We're going to get an interview with him after the high-flying photos photo session takes place in Victory Lane. Ussery Body Shop, a sponsor on his car, Fast Lane Engines. Buzz's muffler. There we go. J.R. <coughs> Billings. Best way heating and cooling. These Christie. Christie's Tasty Queen. One of the sponsors. That's a good place to eat over there in Turner District in Kansas City, Kansas. We're going to get a picture in Victory Lane at Valley Speedway. Lakeside home track for J.R. Billings. Here he is, coming to Valley from a big track to a small track. Battled with Bobby Olenberg for the win. Quite a show. High Flying Photos. You can go online and see these pictures. Highflyingphotos.com. Does a fine job here at Valley. We'll, we'll go talk to JR. We've got to find a sweet spot to talk, JR. So be patient with me. Signs by Taco, one of your sponsors. Hey, that's a good looking car. I'm assuming, I'm pretty sure you're a lakeside driver, is this correct? Uh, yes, yes. Uh, I'm kind of switched over to Warrensburg last year. and I've never been to Valley before, so I wanted to come out and run and see what it was all about. And I just had the best race of my life right there. That was a blast. <laughs> all right, let's hear it for J.R. Billings. Awesome race. And uh, congratulations. Good to see you guys. Come on back here to Valley. Second row inside the 41, Brad Wyatt. Outside of Brad, A.J. Gilbert, the number two. Third row inside the 15H, Tony Hudlin. Pat Schutte in the 7S. Merle Lamb in the 15L. And Chris Schofield in the 7X. Here we go. The first lap is awesome. We're racing Midget here at Valley. Luke Howard into the lead. <clears throat> Wesley Smith with his hands full as Luke Howard came here to race. Now Wesley Smith in the lead. Wesley Smith last night, he was a call in on the show, The Works. Here he is tonight, leading the midget feature. 
He won the sprint car feature last week in the John number 12. Here he is in command again, the 44, Wesley Smith. Luke Howard in second. Brad Wyatt in third in the 41. But A.J. Gilbert keeps mixing it up. Gilbert now in third. Gilbert now challenging. As the first spot goes to Wesley Smith, he's running away with that. But second is exciting as well. Here comes A.J. Gilbert with Luke Howard, a pair of twos. Gilbert on the bottom, Howard on the higher groove. As they go down the back chute, now Howard ahead of Gilbert. Man, this is incredible. Wesley Smith putting on a seminar in Outlaw Midget Racing tonight. As he's about to run down second and third with a lap. Can he do it? Looks like the white flag is going to fly. I don't think that's possible. One to go. And here comes the checkers. Wesley Smith winning the feature. A.J. Gilbert, Luke Howard battling. We'll see which one takes the second spot. Luke Howard second. A.J. Gilbert third. Picture from High Flying Photos. Then we'll swoop in and talk to the driver. Now we've got another picture where you won't be able to see the car. <laughs> there, have a seat on the right rear. Uh, All right, number one in the air, as they are number one. Got their heart right as well. Wesley Smith is always smiling. I think he knows something that none of us know. We're going to talk to you. There's a sweet spot right here. And I hope that we can pick your voice up. You were on our uh, talk show last night on the works. And here you are in Victory Lane. And we talked about that. Did you have a plan to come up here and do this? Well, you know, that's always the plan to come up here and, rent and win races. But, uh, you know, there was some tough competition here tonight. Luke Howard and Pat Shooting and all of them, they're always a good crowd to race with. And it was a lot of fun tonight. We had a great two-lane track. It was awesome. Well, you know, there's nine of these midget shows here at Valley. You just took one of the wins away. Are you going to make it here for the rest? Yeah. Wonderful. Well, here we are, Valley Speedway midget winner, Wesley Smith, next to Missouri. Going back upstairs.
49. Anybody could win this race. Watch the drivers from further back. Tony Lane way back. Billy Spillman in that 63. Runs good here at Valley. Green flag flies. Chase Galvin. Gene Claxton. Chad Walker in third. Here comes Dakota Foster in the number five. Oh, together contact. Patch spins, collecting some other cars down in turn four. Not a good day to be in turn four. And the green flag flying. Chad Walker on the high side. Dakota Foster on the bottom. They're trying to put Claxton in a pinch. He knows they're there. Claxton's smooth and steady. Trouble behind Claxton. Trouble, trouble, trouble. Long time. Here we go with a green flag. Chad Walker again. Close to Claxton in third. Man, oh man, look at this battle. Mark Schaffman behind Chad Walker in the 44. He's got Chris Martin behind him in the 21. Harris in the 07 moving forward. Charles as well in the 81. Chase Galvin. Yellow comes out. Moisture really coming up on there in turn three and four. And it harder and harder to navigate. Okay, here we come. Green flag will fly. Chase Galvin, Gene Claxton, Chad Walker, and another yellow down in three and four. Past the cone, but it's hammer time. Claxton now on the bottom as usual, trying to capitalize on the track going away above now this slickness is all over track wide in turn three and four. We've got some really talented drivers up in the top half of this field. Chad Walker keeps eyeball in second spot. Waiting for Gene Claxton to mess up. You might as well wait a lifetime. Man is rock solid. Chase Galvin, Claxton, Walker, Shaftman. Wow, there is some roughness down in turn one going into that through the middle of the track. We're moving drivers over for the leader, Galvin. Second, Claxton. Chad Walker in third. Alvin, 
Clarkston stretching it out. He's got a lapper ahead of him. Wonder if Clarkston can monopolize on traffic. Yellow comes out. No traffic now. We'll go back to the way they were order they were running in. Close up. And the green flag flies! Galvin Claxton. Shaftman working his way up there to battle with Chad Walker. Here comes the five car, Dakota Foster. Oh, tangle again down in turn three and four. Oh, here at Valley. And it's a green flag. Chase Galvin, Gene Claxton. He has diligently been pursuing Gene Claxton for third and for second. Oh, that's slick spot. Takes out Chad Walker. And the green flag flies. Claxton so steady. Chase Galvin also steady. Galvin consistently on that high side of the racetrack, making it work. Now he goes to the bottom. Daniel Harris pitching her in on the cushion. Zero seven in third. Austin Charles. Hanging in tough for fourth. Daniel Harris closing in on Claxton. The 42 and the 07. to go. Yellow flag comes out with five laps to go. Tony Lane has moved up in the 71. Daniel Harris making a move on the high side. Claxton hanging tough right there in the middle of the racetrack. Harris just cannot do anything with Claxton. Yellow flag comes out. Man, Claxton is just tiptoeing around. Here we go. Green's going to fly. Chase Galvin, single file past the cone. Now it's time to pass. Claxton making his move late in the race.
Claxton wants to win again as he did last week. Watch the 42, the 07. 07 right on Claxton's bumper. Oh, Claxton goes around. Austin Charles now in third and loving it. Green flag flies. On his back. Chase Galvin drifts up. Claxton sees daylight on the bottom. Boy, he is driving where it's slick, slick. Claxton doing a great job. About as good as a man can do. Galvin running a terrific race. Here comes the white flag. Final lap, and it's going to be a battle to the finish. On the bottom. He's going to try to make it work. One more set of corners. Chase Galvin shutting the door to the low side. Galvin wins. Claxton second. Billy Spillman third. Austin Charles fourth. For on track interview, highflyingphotos.com. Down there. John Lee, fly, flying photos. There he is, Chase Galvin! Yeah. American Family Insurance, one of his sponsors. Schweitzer Performance. Merriam Chiropractic Center, one of his sponsors. He's going up here to Get a picture with his family, his crew. They're big enough to hide the car. There you go. Picture for the mantle. He's got it. Another trophy from Valley Speedway goes to Chase Galvin. We'll have an interview with him here in Victory Lane. Try to get Chase up here to our sweet spot. I can't make an X here, but this is the best spot on the racetrack for interviews. Chase, congratulations. Here you are at Valley Speedway on a Friday night. Did you have any idea that you would end up in Victory Lane? No, this is our actually our first trip here this year. Went up to I-35 and won the track champion been real competitive up there but I didn't really think I would be in victory lane tonight I was just finished you finished well you drove a flawless did you know that Gene Claxton was right there behind you no I seen him uh, coming I kind of bobbled going down into one and I seen him his nose in three and four and that's all I seen of him well he's uh, scratching his head I'm sure who was that guy in it in this Chase Galvin. ValleySpeedway.com on our website. We're not 
We're just getting started. Second race of the season. Hope to see you here. There's Lisa Burlington. Yeah, there's all kinds of lakeside people here tonight. Will Guthrie won his heat race in the red car, the 78. Green flag's going to fly. These guys will not have such a problem with these slick track conditions. Front wheel drive, baby. Robert Logring in the number 20 PT Cruiser. Richard McCulley, they're racing with Logring for second. Now Richard McCulley behind Guthrie. These guys are storming around the racetrack. Eric Schmidt getting a little slick <laughs> for even a front wheel drive. And they're battling for the lead now, Richard McCulley who's won many, many features here at Valley. He's battling with Will Guthrie. Cully on the top. Oh, McCully. Now your leader, Richard McCully. McCully. Will Guthrie, Eric Schmidt trying to take the spot from Mr. Logering. Robert Logering in the 20. PT Cruiser. Now Richard McCauley trying to stretch his lead out. Will Guthrie giving his car everything it's got. He's flogging it. Oh, McCulley keeps getting further ahead. Will Guthrie with problems. Cashing in his chips, as Dennis Shrout says. 78 goes to the pits. Richard McCulley out there by his lonesome. Going to come down to victory lane, and uh, we're going to keep him company. Look at this. We still got Eric Schmidt racing his heart out with Logering. They've been side by side battling tooth and nail. Richard McCauley making it look easy as he's on a rail here in the number 19. And I'd say these guys have been side by side every lap. The 121 and the 20. Enjoying their togetherness. Final lap for Richard McCauley. And Eric Smith finally gets around to number 20. Final lap for them. Checkers for McCulley. We'll see who gets second and third. 
Eric Schmidt getting in there hot. <laughs> Low green takes second. Good race. I always like to wait till the driver gets into position to make a lot of noise for him. There's a shot number one from High Flying photos.com let's make some noise for Richard Loger or excuse me Richard McCauley DFR racing DMR or JMR graphics one of his sponsors Thank you. here's our sweet spot Richard finally figured it out Okay, here you are again in victory lane. Do you keep making changes to your car to be able to do this, or do, is it consistently the same car every week? Uh, it's the same every week. I even forgot to check air pressure and everything this week. So Very forgiving, huh? Yeah. Hey, you were fast. Remember those air pressures. Check them when you get in. You won. You almost lapped the field, buddy. Congratulations, Richard McCauley. Thank you. Here at Valley Speedway, ad.com. Go to our website, see our complete schedule. We'll see you back next Friday night here at Valley. Thank you.